So the 80 plus double is here. We need nine golds and one rare. So it look like that. Every single card in here has been put in is not from a league SBC. If you don't know what that means, I'll explain it to you in a second. But let's open up this pack. So let's see what we get out of our first one from opening it. And then we'll show you how to grind. This is going to be Thiago Silva. It's going to be Gabriel 84. So that can go into the 85 plus upgrade that's come out or anything else. Let's go into the video and show you exactly how to grind this now. So to grind these SBCs to get the upgrades over and over, the best way is to do the league SBC. Now, with League on an Eredivisie, you want to basically get the cards that you've packed the most. So for example, every single one of these Marseille players I have packed by doing the grind. And now I'm just going to go buy the other six players that I need. So that's why I did Marseille. We spent about 1,800 on each. So there is cheaper things you can do. For example, I will show you on the screen now. Nice is a really good one to do. Eredivisie with Ajax and PSV. They are the cheapest ones to do from scratch. Now, once you've completed this, you're going to get yourself a Jumbo Gold Pack tradable back. And with this pack, you are looking to basically sell and discard everything you get. Even if you need the cards or you get Mbappe, for example, you're going to want to sell and discard all of them. So with this pack, for example, we're going to go and sell all of these players here. And then we're going to discard all the contract. Any of the chem styles that are worth coins will obviously, of course, sell as well. But most of them are worth nothing. And the same for the leagues, the kits and everything else. Once you've done all of that, you should get at least a minimum of 1,500 coins back in your account. That just leaves us with Libertadores and Sudamericana. But these are the four that I have that I have packed and I don't have the chemistry yet. I need one more goal. And I don't have any from Sudamericana, but I am going to go put in my high rateds from there. Now, the reason we're going to do that is because we need to buy less gold. Now, to get the next lot of cards that you need, obviously, you need to have separate clubs. What I recommend doing, go back over to Libertadores, putting the concept on, on high rated and then searching and then going to add every team you don't have onto your bench. And then you're going to go through one one by one and buy whichever one's the cheapest at the time. Now, some of these you can get for about 700 coins. And now that all of these concepts are on our bench, we're just going to go ahead and search one by one and see which ones are the cheapest. For example, there's like around 1.8, 1.7, maybe more. If they are pushing 2,000 coins, don't buy them. Just move on to the next player until you find them cheaper. The one has popped up for 700 coins, but I have missed it, unfortunately. But that's what you want to do until you get them all for around under the 1,800 price until it's done. So I'm just going to go do that till I complete it. Now I've got a couple cards I'm going to go ahead and do the same with the Sudamericanas. And one more trick you can do is mass bid on the cards if you know what the prices are. So let's say they're max 1,800 coins. You can go to the transfer list and bid. You can see here 1,700, 1,400, and 1,700. This card actually sells for 2,000 coins. Now, it might not be the craziest profit back, but it's still some profit back overall. So whichever one we spent the least amount on, for example, this guy, we're going to sell him for 2,000, make a little bit of profit back. And then this one that costs us 1,400 coins, 1,400 can go into our club and then into the SPC. So that will keep the cost down overall now we can go put in that goalkeeper that we won in our auction and we can basically complete this spc even cheaper than it was originally by doing the mass bidding system and also making some coins extra on top now this one's been complete that's the whole thing done we get ourselves two untradeable packs back from this now both of these packs can be recycled back into the spcs or into the upgrades that are out at the minute stop right there with the introduction of kits tokens and now evolutions needed fc points or coins to complete them there is no better time Time, then to head over to igdm.com get yourself some coins very very cheap fast and reliable use discount code nanic at the store and get five percent off the link will be in the description we're gonna open up the lower one first which is completing the libertadores and sudamericana which is going to be the 80 plus guaranteed prime elections player pack now everything in this pack has some sort of value to you yes you can't sell it for coins but it has value so for example this card and this card can go back into the upgrade. The MLS card that we had there can go into another upgrade. This duplicate can go back into another league SBC. Straight away with our duplicate Serie A card that we got, we're going to go put them back into the Serie A and Bundesliga. So our duplicate has gone back in. We've got the Serie A done and now we got ourselves a tradable pack back. And all the players that we got in this are from doing the league SBCs over and over again. So the duplicate has gone back into our club. Now we're going to open up the pack that you get for completing the entirety of it, which is an 82 plus, 12 gold players, 6 rare. This is where you're going to get your walk outs and anything else to complete it looks like it's going to be an 83 unfortunately for us but again every single player has some sort of value so again league sbc upgrade upgrade league sbc league sbc league sbc league sbc league sbc upgrade an 84 or an 83 duplicate two more cards that can go into upgrade so we got ourselves a really nice recycle round now, with the upgrades, you can go and put those cards in, which we'll go ahead now. But before that, let's go to the transfer market and see what's sold and what hasn't. You can see here, we sold all of the golds that we had. We sold that Libertadores or Sudamericana card on top. And I was doing a little bit of bronze pack method off camera where you can see I made some coins off that as well. So it's really profitable to do this system. So we put those duplicates into this SBC and you can see this is how you can get endless of them over and over again. Then you can start putting them into the 83 pluses and much more. 
the beautiful thing is i recommend with the 85 upgrade is to basically save that for black friday with the new promo as we seem to be getting a quite a lot of 84s out of it so the pack weight seems very good to get high rate of fodder so for example my 83 and the 84 that i've got out of this if they're untradeable they're going to go into the 85 rated team or any other spc that's available but the mixed league the premium mixed league and the mixed league are going to be your best friend for doing this and if you get yourself two low rated cards like for this one for example we get an 85 saudi league 85 can go back into the 85 upgrade any questions comment down below if you're new to the channel smash that like button subscribe and i will catch you in the next video